We're trying every item in the November 2023 Keto Crate right after this. Guys, welcome to the November 2023 edition of Smash the Crate, the monthly series where me and my husband and my mother try every item in this month's Keto Crate. Don't forget, you can get a discount on your very first Keto Crate by using the link in the description box below, or you can stick around to the end to see if you won this Keto Crate. And this Keto Crate is a good one. You know why? Because I just realized, what? I don't think there is one savory item in this entire crate. Yes. Like, it's all sweets, all sweets all the time, right? Thank you, and that is, a, that's, a, that's a crate for me. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, my husband, not so much. Skirt! No but meat like, sticks. this, I know, right? No meat sticks, no nothing. Okay. Mm. So okay. let's hop right in. I'll give it a shot. Okay, number one, the closest to savory item is pork rinds, oh, but yeah. they're the sweet pork rinds. Yes. They're the old timey butterscotch. Remember we tried, we tried these a long time ago because I ordered them oh, when they first yeah. released them. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Let me see if I can oh, break away. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna distribute the butterscotch powder. Okay. Partake in some butter and some scotch. A whole claw that my mom goes in there with. Ayla, I need okay. to. Okay. Mmm, very, very butterscotchy already. Okay. You're correct. So. The smell. Yeah. Okay. All right. Three, two. <laughs> I really like that. It's like, it's like buttery. Scotchy. Mm -hmm. No, I mean that that just tastes like a yeah, I agree. sweet leaf flavored crisp, butterscotch flavored. Yep. That's a tier one and a half for me. I like it. I'm gonna want it. Yeah, yeah. I'm say one it as well. Really good. Whatever sweetener, sweetener they add. I'll drink to that. That's um pretty pretty tasty. Yeah. Um, and while we're here, let's talk about our tiering system. So we rate things from first to worst. So tier one is that's delicious. I love that. I have bought that or would buy that with my own money. I mean, so it literally is a tier one for me because I have bought that with my own money. Um, and I, I know, right? I like the flavor. Tier two is, you know what? I really like that. I mean, maybe I wouldn't buy it, but I'd be really happy to get it for free or like receive it in a keto crate or something like that. Tier three is like, don't hate it. Definitely don't love it, right? Like I'd accept it if somebody gave it to me for free, yes. but it's definitely not the first thing that I'm reaching for like in the snack drawer. Mm -hmm. And then tier four is yuck, yucky. I do not like the way that that tastes. I would not accept it even if offered for free because like, I don't like that, yes. right? Yeah, so yes. anything, you know, just because we give something a tier four doesn't mean that you might not like it, it just means my taste buds like aren't having or it, right? Mine. Or any of our taste buds if we give it a tier four. Okay, but like I said, tier one, tier, tier one and a half, like that tastes very, very nice. good. Yes, like, and I love the texture. I will agree. I love how it's not like something chocolatey like made with a bunch of fibers and syrups. Right. Like, I mean, you know, that is really just a pork rind coated in powder dust, you know? So it's a great way to get some fat sand with not a lot of other um, things. Okay, next. So we tried this last month, almond is back, right? Oh, yay. Sweet almond coconut. You did not try this, mom, so. Not. Yeah, okay. Oh, they must have knew. So yeah, they were like, oh, gotta do it again. Hey, Chris you. wasn't there, so. Thank you so Okay, much. these are big clusters. Ooh. Oh, like oh, oh, oh gosh, Lord. it's too much. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna have to sweep. We gotta sweep. So like, it is very orange, right? We talked about that. Um, or yellow, gold, golden, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, you the uh, the flavor is sweet almond coconut. Okay. You know, we can see the almonds. We can see the coconut. And the sweet. Mm -hmm. All of the mm -hmm. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Just like last month, initially, I get honey bunches of oat cluster, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually it's really good. Are these mm -hmm. flax seeds? Absolutely. One thing I like about this is not, it's firm and crunchy, but it's not break your teeth hard. Mm-hmm. It's firm, mm -hmm. it's really good and crunchy. Nice. They were thinking nice about you. Thank you. This is a tier two for me. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what I gave mm -hmm. it last month, but. A 1.5 for mm -hmm. me. 
I love Lou too. Yeah. To be made from products like lupini bean flakes and cassava mm. plant prebiotic fiber. What'd you call me? They're putting those ingredients to good use. Like, mm, that is that I achieves a unique taste and texture that I enjoy. I have to agree on those ingredients. Nice. Next. Sinless Snacks Cookie Dough Bar. I feel good okay. already. I know, right? Like, uh, I feel great about I it. I think we had the Sinless Snacks like Rice Krispie Treat-esque oh, thing a couple of months ago. Oh, from this, this brand? Is, yes, from this brand, yeah. Okay, look at that. I look at do that. like, uh, like, a, like a bar. You can definitely see some texture in it. This gets this. It's a bar. I'm cutting off a little chunklet. Chunklet here. Oh, oh yeah. Come on, put, your, put some stank on it. There we go. I should have got a serrated knife. This butter knife ain't doing it, so. This is a butter. Use that for us. Thanks, Mom. Makes the dream work. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll get more leverage on this yeah. side. Yes. It is very firm. You yes. can definitely see the chocolate in it, right? The chocolate chip. So let's go. It's a bar. supposed to be again. You know. Cookie dough. Okay. That's good. Okay. I finally tasted it. Mm. Don't know if I get cookie dough. I get chocolate. Yeah, I, do. I get chocolate chip cookie. I like to chew. Yeah, I do as well. I like the texture. Mm -hmm. There are some crispy somethings in there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a tier two for me. Mm -hmm. That's good. Another one five for me. Yeah. I'd have to go with mom and say one five. Yeah. And that's like it's really more hearty. It's tastier than not. Yeah. For, for that to be a whole bar, because all three yes. of us had a piece and that was only half the bar. So I'd be a, I'd be a nice serving right yes, there. Look at you. Knowing all about serving. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Next, Richard, something you'll like. Ross Chocolates Dossier Milk Chocolate Minis with Cherry Almond. See, it has oh, fruit. Tried these before. Anytime yeah. something has like fruit mixed into it, mm -hmm. I'm like, ooh, Richard's gonna love this. Oh, no, so. Yeah, I think we tried these before. I think the chocolate dark chocolate. Cherry? Oh. Really no, it's like chocolate and then oh, it has say, like. You can smell the cherry. Can you? Okay. It is very cherry y. Let me cherry grab e one. E cherry y. Right. I'll cherry. judge of that. Yeah, but like on the outside, to be honest, like you can't I see any dusted. like cherry. <laughs> dusted, yeah. Dusted. Yeah, you can't see any cherry anything. So oh, let's see on the inside. Okay. Oh. Nope. No, I'll taste the cherry. Very hard. Right? It's very cherry essence. Yes. I feel more cherry eating it. No. More mm. cherry than sweet. That make sense? I don't like it. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's getting better the more I chew it now. That's a three for me. Yeah, that's a three for me. Um, I would say a two. The chocolate chew, it's like great. it's very, it's like a brittle chocolate mm -hmm. almost. It's like very crumbly, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't mind that if it was just milk chocolate. Yeah. Um, the cherry flavor is just not. It is a strong cherry flavor. Yeah. I do not like cherries and chocolate mixed. So if, if you, you like, like those two things, me neither. Because I don't like chocolate. chocolate could not. Strawberries. Could not. I don't really pick up almond. Like, no, not you know, but it was just very cherry and chocolate. So that's a tier three for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. three so start off three them for me just because of the texture and everything. Like the, the crumbliness. The more cherry yeah. we can, hmm. the It worked its way can. up to a two. Look at that. Mm -hmm. the, wow. the, the roller coaster, mm -hmm. the journey. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. thanks Ross Chocolates. Next. Exactly. A Nola bar, maple pecan. Oh. So last time we had, um, what was it? The white chocolate macadamia yes. with all yes, the world's did. white chocolates you piled under one about bar. Last time, and I wasn't here. Last mm -hmm. time we did this. Last time. Hey, Christina, this. calm down. Okay, this yep. is oh, a glistener. That. Like, oh, yeah. can y'all see the sheen on that thing? Look at that. Wow. That is, I mean, that's a nice. ooey gooey bar right looked, there. It looked better than the last time. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. What? <He's> like, <laughs> <laughs> this is like gonna stick to the knife when it you is. cut it off. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, is it cut? Yeah, a little easy. yeah it, it's definitely soft. It has a soft, yeah. Okay, yes. let's go. And it has our DNA on it. Oh my God. It's very sticky. Mm. What flavor is it again? Maple pecan. All right, maple. That's what I taste. I definitely like the white chocolate macadamia one better. Um, that's a two and a half for me. It doesn't taste bad. I just, just not my jam. Uh, two for mm. me. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going one five now. Oh, look at you! I like 
kind of sticky. It was like a little caramel esque. Wow. It is a little caramel esque. Mm. You know what that means? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the rest of that and I'm just gonna put that right there for my mm. for my husband mm. to have. I feel like we. It's a takeaway. Really, got my got my fingerprint on it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Not my favorite, but like I do like the chewy texture of it, so I really did. Okay. Next, let's go the opposite okay. of chewy texture. What are we doing? Curly girls. Almond toffee, Ooh. dark chocolate toffee. I like, I like well, the packaging. I wonder why they go into more of dark than milk chocolate. Okay. Because okay. it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's better for you. Well, because milk chocolate has more sugar, yeah. like, yeah, you know, sense. so. It's better for you. Okay, so this is toffee. It has a little, I don't know what it has on top, probably know. almond on top it of it. cool. Yeah, but like, this is about like to be bits a of stuff. toffee. Okay, let's go. Mm. Mm. Real toffee inside. Yeah, my trouble. Oh. Yep. I'll show mine as well. Thank you for oh, that. Make to the fire. Mm hmm So the only thing I don't like about that is the dark chocolate. Now, it's a little, it's not sweet enough for me. Mm-hmm. Tastes good. The inside, the toffee, mm -hmm. delicious. Dark chocolate, a little bitter for me. Yep. yep. You're not a dark chocolate fan. 1.5. I'll give it a two. I mean, the... Chew is great. It's getting stuck right up in yep. here as any good toffee would. Yes. Like I would also give it a two. High quality, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nibbleable, but nibbleable. purchasable. Nibbleable. Nibbleable. Yeah, like I'd be very happy as I as I was to see this in a keto crate. So next, going back to maybe chewy, Ooh. keto wise chocolate covered caramel. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Yes. Curious. Melt it all free. Free. Yes. So I remember this brand. They have, they always have like amazing textured things, but that's because some of the sweeteners are a little like mm, questionable. But the ingredients of this weren't actually pretty bad. Here, mom, you can have that whole one. Wow. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna cut this one in half. And it, like it is, it's giving caramel, mm -hmm. you know, it's giving stretch a little bit. I think these do the turtles. Yes, exactly. They're the same people that make the turtles. Yep. Okay, <clears throat> let's go. Mm, feel that. You see what she has to do? Oh! Nice. Nice. This tastes so good. Mm -hmm. They have a hole, huh? <laughs> See how that works. <laughs> yeah, that works. I should have put it in half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kilo. She wasn't that here. Was for, that was for last time. She wasn't here last time. Thank you. You've been officially mm. rewarded. No more last time. <laughs> okay. It's so good. <laughs> that is a tier one. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't even care about the ingredients. They're not that bad. Uh, prebiotic soluble fiber polydextrose, mm -hmm. palm kernel oil, glycerin. I don't care. I, that tastes so good. That's a tier one. Well, <laughs> I think the ingredients is like a straight line. Exactly. Okay. That's why it tastes so good. Exactly. But it's amazing, tier one. Okay, now switching over to something my husband will love. Shameless Snacks Red Raspberry Sour Scouts. So this is the... You like Sour Patch Kids, don't okay, you? but we had all the chocolate and I, had a, and I got chocolate in my mouth. Well, you have to like, take a drink. That's why we got drinks. Oh nice, Mom. What? <laughs> what is happening? Get corn in the I got okay. soluble ah! This is soluble fiber. Didn't drop any I didn't drop any of the scouts, no, okay? No scouts were harmed. Thank you. Only oh, one. Wow. This, this is a deeper red, almost like purple color. Because here, like here, it I definitely makes it you think it's red, right? Mm -hmm. No, I guess in the light, it kind of looks like that. Mm -hmm. But this is red raspberry sour scouts. So. All righty. Okay. It is shaped just like a Sour Patch Kid. Is that what that is? Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm. It is not sour. Mm -mm. The chew. It's just like a sour patch kid. Mm. Oh yeah. I love that. It's not it, my sour on a scale from one to ten to one and a half. They get no bits of crumbs of sour. Mm. Well, I mean, it's just the flaky stuff on it. I mean, it look. They could put way more citric acid to make it sour. Mm -hmm. Three. I mean, that's just because I don't like that chewy. I don't like gummy mm -hmm. stuff. So. Mm. You like it all the way through. Getting it all up in her. I mean. So if you don't like gummy stuff, wouldn't it be more of a four then? I mean, I mean, but she can recognize when the flavor uh, is not bad. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, mm. It's not for me, dog. I'll say a one. I mean, that's, re that's really good. I'm going to say one and a half. Did I say two? Whatever it is, 
This is not sour, but the flavor and the texture are gummy, like amazing candy, and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna go one and a half. Less. I still have my teeth. Okay. Uh, that's a horrible part. But do you know what else is for me? Saving the best for last, hashtag Vanessa Williams. Duncan, oh God. Duncan Hines. Keto friendly oh, chocolate okay. frosting. Oh, He's gonna be what? freaking eating that oh, at a time. <laughs> I, I told them that my favorite oh, sweet wow. was frosting. <laughs> but I'm doing better, you guys. I am, I, am, I swear. <laughs> and I told them that you don't really again. even like frosting, Mom. I know, exactly. I know. She's a very particular. <laughs> you can tell this was extruded and it's black. I mean, how else you gonna put frosting in America? Every frosting company does it. <sighs> Here you go, sweetie. Aww, you're so mm. cute. Okay, I can already tell. Okay, it's a little less, maybe because it's cold, okay. but like, I don't even know if this is, is like spreadable, so. It's probably because it's cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to warm this up or you just put a yeah. hole in your cage. Okay, <laughs> exactly. Trying to stir up. Yeah, cake. rip it. You're going to rip it. Okay. It's a double boiler. Oh, this one. The flavor is very good. Like the texture is throwing me cream. off because. It's not spreading. It's like it's just airy. no. It's it's it sticks together. It's marshmallowy type. Yeah, like it's consistency. Oh no, it's really odd. I see what you're saying. Like I'm trying to get it to like spread throughout my mouth, like of like a frosting would do, and it's kind of just going into chunks. Yeah, the whole whole part just shifts. Yeah, just like, like you can like you can like swallow a pellet of frosting. You know, like mm -hmm. it's not disintegrating. But I mean, I'm sure that's because of like the lack of sugar. You know, sugar I'm sure is a big part of that. Taste and or flavor is one and a half, 1.5. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. It's not as chocolate as it could be. Yeah. It's definitely chocolate. It's not super duper strong. No. There you go. But the flavor is good. Yeah. Hmm. I will oh, well, also she say... has her a tub of chocolate. I know, but see, that's good because this isn't even something I would sit down and dig into. Like, it, this is not eat the whole tub because it's just that good. Yes. It's like, no, nah, that's good. You know, but. So what number Maybe is? two tablespoons a day. Um, yeah, one and a half to two. Okay. I would yeah. say two. Yeah. I mean one and a half. Awesome, great um, value to put in the keto crate though. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's all we got. I mean, see, lots of chocolate, lots of sweets, lots of stuff yes. going on. I'm excited. I want to know. Do you know? Do you know who I want to know if they like chocolate frosting? Oh, okay. The winner of this month's keto crate. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. That person is. Mm. You got some chocolate yeah. coming to you, okay? Send me an email to watchautumnketo at gmail.com and the folks at Keto Crate will get you this Keto Crate. I mean, it is so chocolate yes. heavy. We have the chocolate caramels, delicious. We have the chocolate toffee, delicious. We had the Ross Chocolates dossier, delicious. We had a whole tub of chocolate frosting, delicious. Right? Still delicious. And chocolate butterscotch. And it wasn't chocolate oh, butterscotch. Still delicious. But yeah, still, it was all very, very good. Overall, this was a great value. Like the keto crate just be serving up like retail value. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, this was great. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye y'all. This is my. There's. This is no vibrato. Do it for the environment. I'm gonna eat all these then. I didn't know my husband. It does make sense that my husband doesn't like. I'm like no. Too late. Bye you. Finger gun? No. 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 I didn't know it. I didn't. I didn't shoot my Gavin. No. Nope. We're done.